this goes back maybe to about 2016. I met a friend out in the desert and he had acquired, picked up a TV in his area. And so we transferred that and he also gave me some other electronic e-waste stuff that he had grabbed. And he gave me this box which was a gift. And I never got around to opening it. Uh, it wound up in storage, and I just came across it. At least I think this is it. So I'm going to open it here, and we'll see exactly what it is. Shows how good of a friend I can be. Let your gift sit for a better part of six years. I have... Absolutely no clue. No no idea what this would be. And yeah, that box is probably dated about right. This is probably from 2015. Oh wow, what model is it? One of these Johnson CB radios that actually was one of the things that got me interested in two-way communications. Definitely a little Mel Torme in the background. Never hurt anybody. Ooh, look at that. Look at that classy old RV right there. Look at that. That is awesomeness. So is this the one... Ooh, pleasure boaters. Is this the one with the uh, CB handle? Yes, it is. It's the telephone version. Problem with these is the crystals in these era of Johnson CB radio uh, develop silver migration and drift off frequency. But look at the packaging. I mean, nobody uses, hardly anybody uses CB anymore in my world. You know, we all have ham licenses and we don't have to listen to the fuel pump noise on FM. And we got a nice contrast of colors here bright green gloves with a nice blue background and a pink. EF Johnson Messenger 130A Telephone Receiver Citizens Band AM Stuck in the box Look at that Breaker, breaker, Fotian, Fotian. <laughs> Citizens Band Service Centers. Transmitter identification card. Of course, back when this was um, new, you needed a license to operate this. Uh, 
Effective January 1st, 1977, the license fee for Class D Citizens Band is suspended. Disregard the fee reference in the operating manual. Uh, that's interesting. It's an addendum um, because of when they relax the requirement to have a uh, Oh yeah. Wonder how the police would respond if you got rolled with this setup today. They'd be like, you know we have a hands-free, no cell phones policy, sir. Well, this is my 1971 CB radio officer. Ooh, matchbox. That's interesting. SW for SWR matching. Kind of like a tuner ham radio. I have this. The transceiver tester antenna meter oh wow it's got the schematic with it the airplane approves look at that it's discolored on this side and it's white on this side yeah these crystals these crystals drift in these. We'll have to test this. We'll have to get it fired up, put it on a um, look at rules and regulations for how to use your CB radio. Probably had to study this to pass the license. wonder where it talks about uh, certain channels they speak a language that nobody else can understand. V negative ground operation. Very cool. So, does it have a speaker in it? Will it work like a regular CB? Oh, speaker or handset. Okay, so we could use this. We need to fire this up. It should be okay, right? I just really like that motor home. Look at me, honey. Let's go on a date. Look at my new high-tech CB radio. Look at that modern tractor. Made in USA. Okay, let's see what it takes to make this thing hurt. Okay, one of the, the little insert there on the knob fell off of this one. I should see if I can find that. Um, but look at this. Never before used. So I got like a six foot fire stick here with a magnetic base. I'm going to put this on top of the car. We have our brand new old stock mint out of the box 
Messenger 130A. We have an MFJ auto or manual tuner, not auto tuner, and somehow the meters got screwed up, so I'll have to try and just look at that and then correct for it. Um, about 13 volts here. We have our meter on amps. I don't think, I doubt the capacitors would be shorted in this, only being 50 years old, ha ha. But they are American made. Um, I think Mallory, these had Mallory or Sprague in them. So here we go, I'm gonna watch the current. 190 milliamps. And we have CB radio. We should always be able to get something in lightning on channel 6. And I believe that we're at the beginning of the solar cycle right now, the 11 year solar cycle. see what we can do here. So that is about five watts, about four watts. Check, one, two, check, check, CB radio. I'm talking on a CB radio. are kind of dead. Okay, let's check the frequencies. We'll start on channel one. Should be 26965. It is 269662. Let's go to channel six. 27025. That seems pretty close. Okay, sorry about the wind noise in this video. It's very irritating when you set up for video and then the wind comes up out of nowhere. So, this is a Messenger 109. And I think this is on channel 11. Let's see.
seems like it's working. There's just nothing coming in today. Let me let it let me let it ride for a little bit until we hit gray line and see if something starts coming in. We'll get like Hawaii and stuff when gray line's going. I've been tuning around for the better part of 15 minutes listening to this noise and I'm just not getting anything. I mean, we have a pretty good idea. It's working. The, the frequency is, the transmit frequency is fairly close. It seems to receive the handheld. It just, there's just, the antenna's good. It's tuned up. There's just nothing out there. I'll give it a little bit longer. This is pretty surprising. I knew CB was dead, but man, this is really dead. Usually we get some Spanish or Channel 6 action. It's just silent. Okay, I just heard a transmission. I don't know what language it was in or what... What planet this is from. There we go. back in the box where you came from.